taking the pictures down? Uh, not right now because we, we want to close uh, pretty soon. Oh, your name but is tomorrow, okay? You are Juan. Yeah. Who am I? You are Jack Micho. No, Mihoff. Okay, Mijo. I don't know how, how you. Well, I want you to say it right. Say my name <laughs> correctly. Jack Mijo. Yes. All right, I got it. Bueno. Latin okay, Latino so. genitalia, labia clitoris, filated. And we're going to talk about all of this tomorrow, and I will show you oh. the pictures, Juan. I have some great pictures. Okay. Okay? Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Adios. Adios. <laughs> oh my god will it ever fucking stop folks it's the fox cast with jay ray and raunch and meet the foxers we'll be back what'd you think about that jay ray oh jack me off that's right baby don't fuck around with the fox man when you do live pranks i have a guy that works well he doesn't work because he doesn't get paid so you can't really call on a job can you Raunch? well hang on let's see no but I have a guy who deals with the show. He's Clearly, Chaos didn't call these fucking numbers before he gave them to me. He does it all the time. He just sends me shit without checking it. You'd think he learned his lesson by now. All right, let's try one more. This will determine, folks, if Chaos stays in the room tonight. Get ready. <laughs> Okay, Chaos, you better pray they answer, buddy. Hello? Hi, I was calling about the carved statue on Craigslist. Do you still have it? Yes, I do. Oh, my God. You know that my Uncle Charlie, rest his soul, he had one. It sounds, you know, I, don't get me wrong, but that looks like Burt Reynolds on the face. I know. <laughs> I cannot believe that it's... you still have it. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, my Uncle Charlie. Well, I haven't been home, so that could be part of the reason, but um, it's it's carved out of one chunk of wood. Right. It's not it's not like a bunch of wood glued together. I got wood I when I saw it. I taking it over to Buck Fuck Owens yeah. and seeing if they wanted to, to put it in their, their museum and stuff, but uh, we're retired and older, and we're, we're going to start unloading stuff. Does it have any splinters? You know? No. It doesn't. Now, if you, is, it, is it one of those trick ones where if you turn it around from the back, it looks phallic? It looks what? Phallic. And you can, like, see the head. I mean, the head is so outlined when you turn around the back. It's like, like where, you know how, how it's carved and it's got the shaft there on this. And if you turn it around and look at it from the back, it's totally phallic. Um, this, it's got the back of the hat. Right. Well, how long is it? Is it 10 inches, 12 inches? What was the, what was the exact length? 12 inches wide oh. and about 20 inches tall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, I don't even think you'd see something like that in a sex shop. I hope I didn't offend you, but it just looks so much like my Uncle Charlie's. <laughs> Unbelievable. In fact, his brother's here. Dave, Dave, this lady's on, he's been crying. He saw the statue, and he started bawling like a little baby. He's 60 years old. Yeah, when you look from the side, it does look like Burt Reynolds with a beard on. But, but my uncle, Charlie, my other uncle here, Dave, he saw it and he started crying because it reminded him of his brother. His brother, oh. was, his brother was a veteran that didn't make it home. Yeah, it was but sad. I'm thinking he'll probably want to ask you something. Dave, come here, come here. Pick up the phone. Yeah, hello, ma'am. Hi, Hi what, what's, your yes. first, what's your first name? Linda. Linda, this is my Uncle Dave. This is the lady with the statue. It's like, listen to this, 12 inches wide, 20 inches tall. It's big. It's thick. And when you turn it around, she doesn't That's know if it looks... very heavy, I have to say that. Very heavy. And, and, it, it does, and she's not sure if it looks phallic when you look at it from the back. I don't know what phallic yeah. means. That's all right. It's just a dick joke. But go ahead, Dave. Ask her. Tell oh. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you, oh, have okay. you seen have you okay. seen the Indians like that? I've seen there's like Indian statues, but then when you turn them around, you know what they look like. Yeah. You, what? Well, they look like the personal parts of men. Yes, <laughs> yes, and some women after well, an operation. This, well, this it's um, uh, with a hat the way it's shaped. It looks heart shaped with the stovepipe in the middle in the back. Right. Well, Dave, uh, so Dave, that you can push it against. Uh huh. The wall and it and it doesn't uh, it doesn't protrude out way big. But oh, at twenty inches, it would stick way out. Is the hair right? I, I, if it's twenty inches, it would protrude. Who are you kidding? 
Well, not well. Oh, you mean deep? Sure. Oh, no, oh deep. I that would make how deep it was. That would make Shaquille O'Neal turn his head. My God. <laughs> but Dave, Dave, are you there? Go ahead. Dave, are you try to? Con- He's been crying. Look, I'm sorry. I know it looks like 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 uncles, but well, now the picture of that um, is where it was dry, and and since then. Uh, I put some stain, a little stain on it, and I put some um, some finish on oh, that's it. That's great. So it has a little bit of a sheen, right? Uh, because the wood dries out if you don't. I know. Do you have big tits? Is this a joke? No, I mean we really would. I think we'd like to buy this. Well, do you want to see the statue, or do you want to come and buy it, or what? Well, I mean it's an actual photograph, right? Dave, Uncle Dave, are you there? Yeah, I am. Hello, Linda. Is this you? Yeah, it's her. That's yes. Miss, this is Miss Linda, Uncle Hi. Dave. Hi. I saw the ad, and the picture wasn't as great as it looked, but my wife used to have one of these statues before I went to the war. I'm an old fellow back from World War II. Hello? Right. Right. So I was wondering, I wanted to put it by my wife's graveside. You said it was kind of dried out, and then you shellacked it. Is there any lubrication left on it to slide inside you? Would the water just kind of run off of it? Well, I wouldn't do that because any wood product that you get wet is is when the sun hits it, it's going to dry and crack. This is a statue to set in your house. But we wanted to polyurethane it and stick it in the graveyard. Oh, my God. It's it's That's why, Dave, Dave I, I don't want to talk about anti- well, but You know, they do have a plastic coating that you might could coat that with. Yeah. Um but I don't know. You'd have to ask a professional. I don't know what they call it, but the best way to describe it is like statue condoms, and it, it, it protects it from the weather. Yeah. Yeah, you slide it right over. You can get like the... Well, you have a a, um, a conversation that kind of uh, constantly goes towards the sexual. Is there something wrong with you? No, it's because of the Indian thing. I was just trying to describe it. That the, I'm just glad that you told me it wasn't like that because it would just... It wouldn't be like the same thing, right, Dave? Because ours wasn't didn't well, have like a dirty side. On a, in the graveyard, if it was. No, not at all. We wouldn't buy it either because we're not like that. My wife done loved it so, and we wanted her spirit to be able to have it there with her at the graveside. Okay. Well, the picture shows you uh, what it looks like and the coloring, except that the color, uh, because I did put uh, a finish on it, the color is a little bit more vibrant than, right. than what the picture. Can we can we get a stat can we get a statue no, fax on it? What? A statue fax. Are you the original owner? Well, I've owned it for about 25 years. Right. And it's been in no accidents. It's always been in one piece. It hasn't been rebuilt. Oh, no. Uncle David, it's a statue fax, like a car fax. you got the complete history right there. It's amazing what the Internet can